The game starts off with a coin toss. The referee flips a coin while the home team calls out heads or tails. Whoever wins the coin toss gets to pick the side of the field they want to play on first. Soccer is played with two teams. Each team has 11 players. The teams consist of one goalie, defenders, attackers, and midfielders. Both teams have to stay on their side of the half until the whistle is blown. Each team has a goalkeeper. The goalkeeper is allowed to use their hands to pick up the ball in the 18-yard box. When a player from the red team kicks the ball completely out of bounds, the white team receives possession of the ball and throws it in. Throw-ins have to go over the player's head and the player has to keep their feet on the ground. When the ball last goes off a white player, the red team gets the ball and throws it in. Teams can make substitutions when the ball is out of play and the ball is in their possession. If a red player kicks the ball out at the end of the field, the white team receives a goal kick. Goal kicks are placed anywhere at the top of the 6 yards box. Usually, the keeper or a defender takes the kick. Corner kicks happen when the defending team kicks the ball out of the end of their side of the field. Whichever side of the goal the ball goes out from, the ball is kicked from that side. Fouls may occur during a game. This includes unsportsmanlike behavior, handling of the ball, and dangerous play. Free kicks are rewarded to the team that is fouled. The game is divided into two 45-minute halves. At halftime, the ref blows his whistle and both teams are allowed to take a break. During halftime, teams talk about what they can do to improve how they are playing. At the end of the game, the team that has the most goals wins. These are the basic rules a soccer player needs to know to be successful.